Creon, it was your first competitive game at the weekend, taking on the Worcester Wolves, a very narrow one-point defeat. What did you make of that performance? Uh, to be totally honest, really not happy with, um, you know, obviously getting having the loss. Um, I felt that um, we put ourselves in the hole to start off the game and um, we can't allow ourselves to do that, especially with the experienced group that we've got. So um, I expect a lot more. Um, I think the players expect a lot more from themselves. Um, so um, we, we're just excited to move on to the next one and um, get that uh, bad taste of the loss out of our mouths. So you've got two games this weekend, both against the Plymouth Raiders. Does it help knowing a lot of the players on their team, about five of them played in your summer bubble? Will that help with your preparation? Um, I think, you know, in our league, people are usually really well, you know, coaching teams do a good job, scouting job. Um, it does help knowing player tendencies. You know, at the end of the day, it comes down to um, how we play defence. And as I said, you know, if I look back at last week, the way we started the first quarter, totally unacceptable. Uh, but um, we can't have any excuses. We know who we're going up against, what their personnel is. And we're going to have to give them respect because they are a very, very top um, for put together team with a very good coach. And what will you be hoping to get from your own Scorchers team this week compared to last week's performance? As I said, I think we've got to start the game, um, not put ourselves in the hole. You know, at the end of the game day, we lost a game. Um, we won three quarters, but, you know, um, it's the overall result that matters. And that first quarter really hurt us. So back-to-back um, -back games against a very, very good team, as I've said. And, um, we, we, you know, we won't have our fans, but um, we've, we've, we've got to make home court count. And as you just touched on, it's your first home game in eight months without the fans. Um, what are you hoping to get from your bench in terms of creating an atmosphere? I think that's what it's all going to come down to is, you know, as um, um, having that culture, that family culture within, um, guys that are on the sidelines, keeping the energy up and, um, you know, helping each other through times when, um, you know, a team might be making a run. So it's, it's all on us. Um, you know, we know our fans will be at home um, watching the game and uh, we want to make them proud. Teo, looking back at the Worcester game last weekend, how did you feel that went from your perspective? Um, a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Um, I feel like we've done a lot of work uh, pre-game, uh, leading up to the game. And I'm not sure, I don't think we executed as best as we could could have done. Um, given, given, given us the benefit of the doubt, I think it was our first game. I think we needed to really shake some rust off and get back into the to, to game, game environment. And moving swiftly on, two games this weekend, both against the Plymouth Raiders. Um, a lot of those players you'll know very well, of course, your good friends, Andrew Lawrence, Ashley Hamilton are on that team. Five of them train with you in Creon Summer Bubble. So do you think that helps with your preparation? Um, yeah, personally, a little bit for myself. Obviously, I know those guys' games, I know how they play. Um, so I'll be trying to uh, help the team and, um, and give them a, a quick heads up on, on what to do and guiding them and stuff like that. But ultimately, Plymouth are a great team, so we need to um, adjust the way we play to uh, counteract how they score and stuff like that. So it's going to it's going to be a good set of games. And what do you think the Scorchers need to work on going from the Worcester game into these Plymouth games? Definitely, we need to focus in on on, on keeping to our game plan. I think during the Worcester game, uh, we got a bit sidetracked. I think we freestyled too much. We ran away from the game plan, and we didn't key in on the guys that we were supposed to key in. Um, so that's going to be a point of emphasis uh, leading up to these next two games. So that's something we're definitely going to key in. And of course, this is your first home game for eight months with no Scorchers fans. Um, do you think that's going to be different playing without them? And what kind of atmosphere are you hoping to create from the bench? Um, definitely, because the Scorchers fans bring a great environment, bring a great atmosphere. So it's going to be hard to replicate that with just the team. Um, but I feel like a lot of the players are, are vibing off their energy through social media through the messages we get. So I think we're going to try and bring that to the game and bring that mindset, bring that positive attitude and bring, bring the fire from the fans to the game.